All right, guys, so today I'm gonna show you guys how I created this cinematic reel. Now, guys, I literally created this video like two months back and I was sitting back looking at my reels and I'm like, wait a minute, a lot of people asked me to create this tutorial. So here I am creating the tutorial finally for you guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Ryan and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And I make presets for editors just like you in DaVinci Resolve, just speed up your workflow just like that. But yeah, guys, check those out. It supports me and it makes these videos keep continuing to come out. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Video. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the Fusion page and there's a couple things that you can do, right? So this is called the effects page. I meant, I meant effects page. But anyways, we're gonna dra drag it in a text plus right here. Um, and I'm gonna do this font called Helvetica Noon. Um, and then we can probably just turn on medium italic, just like so. So we're gonna size it down and then put it right about here. Now, there are a few ways we can uh, basically do this, but we're gonna do it the most effective way possible. So. We have to type out what, what I end up saying, so. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction. So, you aren't gonna see any sort of. So this is gonna be the first line that we end up doing. We're gonna bring it about right there. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. Now, this is just how I like to do it. There are a lot of different ways that you can do this, but this is the way that I do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate this text effect um, as many times as there are words. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to retype out you, and then we're gonna find out where the, like match it up exactly, basically. You can come to this drop down menu and go to like 100 for the zoom, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that everything is on the same track. So if you can see that this Y changes the up and down. So once we get the Y set, we can come here and copy this for the next two because they are on the same line. That just saves us time. So now we can come back to this one and we're just gonna do aren't for this one. Now, in theory, this is gonna take a decent amount of time to get this effect complete. But in my opinion, it's pretty worth it because of how, how good it's gonna end up looking. Um, so we have gonna, um, and then we're going to do the second line now. So what we could do is we can come here and deactivate all of these now, and then we can come back to this one. So now I say C, so right here, we're gonna do C. And then once again, we're gonna come here and make sure we're lining this up perfectly. So right there, bring this down just a tad. Right there, bring this over. So right there. So this is gonna be where we do for the rest. So this is gonna be C. So next thing you know, we're gonna go ahead and do any. So now we have any and it's on the same line. So all we have to do is now match up the X. So now what that was able to do for us is if we go ahead and deactivate all of this and we deactivate this, now if we reenact every single one, it is now in the perfect spot that we need for this, okay? So now we can literally go ahead and delete this, bring all of these down, just like so, so, yep. and then go and, and cut them up, so. Uh, uh, so aren't, aren't get, gonna see, see the, any, any sort, sort of, of traction. Okay, cool. So if we go ahead and look you, at the original video. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction. You could see that we have it pretty much, I mean, the same, right? So all we did here was we're gonna just now come to the end and look at this and see which one, like what words should be standing out. So you aren't is probably a word we wanted to stand out. So all we're gonna do is just hit it on a bold italic. Um, that way it's like emphasized more. So you aren't gonna see any sort of traction. And then traction, will be last what we do, so traction. Now this is very subtle, but like I said, this is gonna add to the effect. Now guys, there is a crucial step I forgot in the beginning, so if you're watching this and you haven't done it yet, make sure you do this before you eventually go ahead and do it in all of your, your clips. We're gonna add a thing of glow in each and every single one of these. To make this faster because I messed up, we're gonna command C as glow and just go into every single one of these really quick 
and just add in that glow. So now that we have glow on each and every single one, now you can really see the difference of the emphasizing that we did. So now guys, we're gonna scroll up on our timeline and we're gonna hit this little white dot right here and we're gonna bring them to each about four frames. This is gonna give it that one effect that you guys have all been looking for doing. So some of them can be longer, some of them can be shorter. Just make sure they're all around like the same length because um, some of them are shorter than others. So boom, four, and then probably three right here. So now if we play this through, we have this. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction and that's the most crispiest way you're gonna get it to do, okay? Um, now, if you guys do want to like speed up your workflow, there's obviously a faster way to do this. So instead of doing all of that work, what you could do is you can get the new Motion Text Pack Pro. Um, it's literally just released, it's 50% off right now. So I would cop that while, I was, while it's still available. Um, but there's, there is, it's right here. So you go to the text animation, you have like literally like 50 animations, I forgot. Like it's just insane. Um, and then if we come and grab uh, this one effect that I'm looking for, so partial blur up, boom, it comes up just like that. So all we would have to do is just size this down and do like you aren't, right? So you could do something like that. Ding. You aren't, I don't know. It, it, there's just so many different ways you could do this, but we're gonna get continue with the tutorial. I was just showing you guys that this is like such a time saver right here. And it's also so cheap, it's so worth it. There's so many different ways you could do this. So first things first is we have- You aren't gonna see any sort of traction. If and then we have the next part, which is if you aren't taking action. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing. So if you- if you aren't, so for this one, we're just gonna do if you aren't. So right about there, make sure that matches up. Maybe bring it down just a little bit, like right there. Okay, cool. Um, and then the next thing you have to realize is that we have to also fade these, these ones all out and make sure it's like the same, obviously, just because this will make it like a lot more crispier too. So we just gotta make sure that we're doing everything, all the right things right to, in order f to make this effect get sold. So, so that way it goes, zooms out and then you, zooms in or fades out, zoom, fades in. Okay, cool. So if you aren't, so this is just gonna be three. One, two, three. Keep it all the same, boom, boom. We're just gonna first do if, come to the end here because I, I have all of those selected there. So boom, if, deactivate, go ahead and do you just like so boom lined up now do the last one this is just this one's a lot easier because it's just a couple words okay and then for aren't we're gonna go ahead and bold italic this one as well um just to give it that spice so then we could deactivate this one turn these on you can see what we have here so if, if you, you you aren't you aren't, aren't We'll put it like right there. Size those right there. Aren't. So if you aren't, we can honestly do something different here too. So like, hey, so we'll cut it here, all of them, cut it there. So this is what we have so far. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction if you aren't taking. So when for taking action, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So we can use the minimal text and we'll use up glitch and we'll use the same font, Helvetica noon. So we'll come here. Helvetica Noon, boom. We'll go ahead and do medium metallic. Make sure we apply it. And then this one, the animation's already there, so we'll just go ahead in my pack. We'll just go ahead and add glow really fast. Size this up a little bit, turn this down. Size it down. So we have- Taking action. Taking action, just like that. That's so clean. Cool. So. For this, I did something a little different, like obviously like that effect. Um, now with my with my effect, like my pack, you can you can have that. You could do that in seconds, like what I just did. I just drag and dropped it down. So that's that's packs only available in the all-in-one bundle. That's not the motion that is in the motion text, but it's also in the all-in-one. Anyways, besides the point, guys, um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure action is just like ten times cooler. So you could do this with any text effect. You don't have to just do this with mine, but you can. Uh, right click and hit character level styling. This is gonna open the modifiers tab. Then we can only highlight action and then just come over here and make it this solid green color. Then if we come down here, we have- Taking action. 
looks so clean, guys, so freaking clean. So now we're gonna take all of these text effects. We're actually gonna delete that one, make sure we have no mishaps. We're gonna look through all you of this. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction if you aren't taking action. So that looks good to me. So now we're gonna come ahead and we're gonna right click and make this a new compound clip. So we're gonna name this beginning text and we're gonna create it and then make sure it comes up into your, your uh, masters. So up here, you can see in the compound clip, we have this beginning text. Cool, so for now, what we could do is we can literally deactivate this. So we're gonna take our beginning clip and we're gonna come to the Fusion page. And you can see here, we just have one clip of me just like yapping up a storm. So we're gonna hit Shift Space and search for a tracker node. And then we're gonna like really zoom in here, make sure you're plugged in on the tools. Go into like 200 and we're gonna pick this spot right here. I didn't even add in the tracker, I'm a dummy. This tracker is gonna be right here. So we're gonna just put that sucker right at the bottom of my chin because that's where I want it. Okay, um, so right about there. And then we're just gonna go ahead, track back and forth with this tracker. If we go through this, you can see we have a actually really good track. Um, and the reason why we made that a compound clip is because now we can come here and look at this beginning text. We can slap this right in the Fusion page and just literally connect it and then go to the tracker one and then we're gonna make, make sure under operation on the tracker, it's under match move and it makes sure it's FG over BG. Okay, so now if we play this through guys, literally look, Boom, now it's stuck to my chin, and that is how we achieve that crispy high look. So if we command F this, which is full screen. You aren't gonna see any sort of traction if you aren't taking action. Take so fire, guys. And honestly, like that's pretty much like what we're doing for the hook, because the rest is just gonna be like music and then auto caption. So if you guys don't know what auto captions is, you come up to the timeline, go over to AI tools and then hit create subtitles from audio. And I like to do 10 per line for like, just as a good rule of thumb, or if you want to do eight, you could do eight. Rest of the video is literally basically just captions. Um, so that's just basically what I just showed you guys. So now if you guys go ahead and take a look at the beginning, we had like this nice zoom out, um, which is very easy to do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag on an adjustment clip. So come over to effects and go to adjustment clip just like so. There's two ways that we're gonna be able to do this, okay? So either come to the adjustment clip, go to the fusion page, and we're gonna hit shift space for a transform node. Um, and then we're going to size this in like right here. We're gonna keyframe this and go out about 20, 20 ish frames and go back to one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the motion blur. We're gonna use zoom to fit this. Command A, and then we are going to use the out cubic method. Any just like that. Cool. You aren't gonna see. And then what we're gonna add on after that is we're just going to add on some dynamic zoom. So if we play this through. You aren't gonna see any sort of That way it continues to zoom out and it's not just like stuff. We come to the end here, you can see that this is where my video is going to eventually end, which is like right here. So if the way, only way we're gonna be able to cut this off is if we add another adjustment clip above everything because we don't want that zoom to like fill the screen. So like you can see here, it's like down here. We want it to stay like this the whole video. So add in this adjustment clip, go to the Fusion page and add in the rectangle node and then just size this up to however big your video is so like that. And then that's pretty much it. So now if we play this through, it has like that barrier. So now it won't like Play you that. aren't gonna see any sort of track. So now we have it just like that. So guys, if you also want the zooms, those are also in my motion text pack. So if we come to motion text and we go to zooms, you have all these five or four zooms that are all cinematic, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much you how aren't gonna see we create cinematic reels. And something I forgot to mention was my LUT. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the before and after of my LUT. So if we come to this one little scenario, this is the before and after. So if we play this through, really is it just makes or breaks the the whole entire like thing to be truthfully honest with you guys so this is a, just a lut in my pack so all i do here is i just drag on a tr color space transform this is like the raw and then you change the balance up a little bit so if you want it to be more warm you can if you want it to be more cold you can do that so i don't really want it to do that though um and then you slap on one of my one two three four five six seven eight nine luts something like that um yeah, that's pretty much it that gives it that look. And if you guys do have your own LUTs, 
um, and you think it's overpowering, this is a little trick in the book, come over to this tab and go to the gain and you can control the output of your LUT. So if you think it's too much, then turn it down. It's as simple as that. You can still use your LUT without overpowering your footage. So that's pretty much how we create cinematic reels in DaVinci Resolve in 2025. If you do, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. I literally answer almost every single question. Guys, don't forget to go get Motion Text Pro and I will see you guys in the next video.